In this InDesign tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create and assign keyboard shortcuts. So to do that, we're going to go up to the Edit drop-down and find our keyboard shortcuts here at the very bottom. Once we're inside of keyboard shortcuts, we have a set that we're saving these shortcuts to. So you have the default set. You can also swap to Adobe Illustrator shortcuts or Photoshop's shortcuts. But once you basically create a shortcut, you'll essentially save a new set. And so where can we create these shortcuts? We can save or create them from all these different product areas, like the application menu or the file menu. These are like the drop downs. You can also go to like object editing, text and tables, even tools. So there's many different areas that we can pull an action from and find it in here that we can apply a keyboard shortcut to. Uh, let's go to the file drop down menu and see if we have any that are uh, not unused, I suppose. And so we have a lot of different commands in here, and when you click on them, you'll see the current shortcut here at the bottom. Uh, so you have close here. We have export that has a shortcut, file info. A lot of these have shortcuts, but import PDF comments does not have a shortcut. And so what you would do is come down here to the new shortcut section, and we would give it a shortcut. So I'm going to uh, show you something here. If you press like command V or control V if you're on Windows, that's the paste shortcut. But if I wanted to apply this shortcut here, it's going to tell me here at the bottom, oh, this is currently assigned to paste. And so it's going to give you a little warning to tell you, hey, if you assign it to import PDF comments, it's going to remove it from paste. So that's probably not something you want to do. So you want to find a keyboard shortcut that maybe you haven't utilized. So I'm going to do all the modifier keys and the letter O. And wow, that's actually a current shortcut key. So let's try a different one. All the modifier keys and B. And sometimes you have to just sort of figure this out a little bit. There we go. So all the modifier keys, Option, Shift, Command, M, that would be Alt, Shift, Control, M on Windows, is currently unassigned. And so I can assign this shortcut key to import PDF comments. Now, some of the shortcut keys out there, you might not care if you take them from a different place. So, you know, you can kind of line that up however you want. Uh, and I'll just assign that. And so now we'd have to create a new set because... You can't edit all the default shortcut keys because you can always go back to the default InDesign ones. But basically, whenever you've created an adjustment here, you're going to create a new set of shortcut keys. So it's your own modified version. And so I would just be like, yes, I want to create a new set based on this default set. I can name it something like it's default copy or maybe default new. Maybe I want it to just be called default new. It's based on that default set. I'm going to hit OK. And so what happens here is now up here in the sets, I actually have a new set here that I've created called Default New, and that's what I'll be using in InDesign with any of my custom keyboard shortcuts that I've put into here. And so you see now Import PDF Comments has the, this, this uh, default shortcut key as Option Shift Command M. On the right-hand side, you can see you can always uh, create new sets, delete sets, or save the set, etc. But once you're done, you can just hit OK, and you've added a shortcut key to whatever uh, action you've uh, assigned it to here in Adobe InDesign. And so if you ever have any issues with that, you can go back to keyboard shortcuts and uh, make sure you're on the right set and adjust as needed. And that's how you can create and assign keyboard shortcuts here in InDesign.